Forever 11 and forever cemented in the college baseball record books and in the city of Tallahassee, Florida. A big one today and a special one on opening day as we honor and remember the life of former head coach and legend in Tallahassee, Florida, Mike Martin. And just like that, Cam Leiter pumps in strike one, and we are underway. Our first look of the night at Cam Leiter, the UCF transfer, who Chris only got better as the year went on. And popped up into the air by Xavier Carter, fielded by Cam Smith, the first out of the top, the first. And you're seeing the mix, 94-97. You saw it on the first two fastballs, 96 miles an hour. He's electric, but it's his intensity and his moxie on the mound that's really going to impress people, I think, the most. Lewis Solomon Parks and Voda Works rounds out the lineup as Cam Leiter, his first punch out as a seminal. A 90 mile an hour slider. Leiter gets him. Look at the energy off the mound. There's the intensity from number 30. He said he's got something to prove he missing last season. And quickly, Diamez Ross wastes no time to the opposite field and a single for the sophomore. Diamez leaving where he left off last season. Cam Smith, runner goes. Throw from Voda. Just skips past the glove of Solomon and Diamez Ross. His first stolen base of the year had five a season ago. Dinges can't two for row west and load east. Hornsmeyer. That one gets away. Diamez Ross comes home and slides in the first run of the season for Florida State. Hornsmeyer punches out Cam Smith. Now to the dish brings James Tibbs. He wastes no time. First pitch swinging out into left field in a single yeah, for the had, junior. Yeah, they had the shift on right there on Tibbs. Coaching staff talking about Ferrer really making a difference and change in his approach this season as Ferrer gets beat. Dinges in the right, that will drop. They're going to hold Tibbs at third. And the first at bat. Ooh, the transfer Marco Dinges results in a single and loads the bases. Might be getting to him just a bit. First pitch swinging straight into the glove of Wirch at third. Down to first in the glove by Parks Hill. Toss it over to Hornschmeyer. 2-2 to Morani. Gets some swing and another K for Leiter. So now we've seen all four pitches now from Leiter. Pay off to Lewis. Get some swing and Leiter dealing early. Leiter wins the battle right there. One, two to Solomon. Brings the breaking ball and the fifth K of the night. Cam Leiter. Four for who's my Chris. As West will draw the walk. A three up. Thought he clipped the inside corner. Instead, it's a four-pitch walk. At the plate. Chopped to second. There's one. Fired across. Safe at first. Close play at first. Ross, Ross really busting it down the line. Another wild pitch from Hornschmeyer. That will bring West home. Another run off a wild pitch. And a 2 nothing lead for Florida State last season. And he'll get another. His first of 2024. Brings Jaime Ferrer at the dish. And another wild pitch. And another run. James Tibbs, he's taken off. And in the third, he goes. 3 nothing to the Seminoles. Gets him swinging again. Rowe at second, who played shortstop at UCF. And then West, who is a catcher, but with three other guys behind West at catching who all can do it, and we've heard great things about all of them. Leiter just misses. Outside corner. Another punch out for Cam Leiter. 
Right now, 94, 95. See another 94 there. Popped up, coming in is Ferrer to make the play. So Leiter keeps it rolling. A single in his first at B. A, B, and that one under the glove of Dorigi and Dinges will reach. 3-1 to him. Right to first, into the glove of the first baseman. Parks back over to him. And there's the defensive play Butler needed. Wow, I mean, we talk about it, and here they do, they do it, they perform it. What a great double play by Butler right here. First baseman makes a heck of a pick, throws it there, and then makes another great pick. You see right here, Dorigi throws it in the dirt, boom. Pick at first base. Show it off the power. There's some power from Farrow into center field. Urban going back, able to make the play at the wall. Inside, and Urban will take a base. Was coming here to play in Tallahassee in front of his family. As that pitch ripped in the right. And Carter DeReggie gets himself a single, moves Urban to second. And the first hit right there for the Bulldogs. And Leiter gets him again. His eighth of the night. 2 2. Comes back in and punches out Lewis. Leiter looking to get out of a jam. 2 2. And he does. And there's the emotion showing it right there. Got him in double figures. Tenth strikeout of the game. Fired up. Actually pitching. Ross just sneaks it under the glove of Solomon. Oh, he wants two. Look at him reeling in the second. Wow, look at that. And look at the emotion he showed. He never hesitated out of the box. One, two. Smith reaches out. Glove by Wirtz running across. Makes the play. They're going to review it. Looks safe to me. Yeah. I think he's safe. And I think the crowd will let you know the decision. Pump faking over there, Tibbs gets the piece out to center, Urban underneath, and able to end that inning. Forever 11, Mike Martin will be honored here in Tallahassee and on these broadcasts tonight and throughout the entire season. And you see the accomplishments. And for people that didn't know Mike Martin, it could be hard to believe someone as accomplished as he was could be so gracious and be so humble, but to people that did know him, that was 11. He was him at all times and just beloved by so many in the game of college baseball. Leading up to opening day, shows how special Mike Martin is. And Fatigue in the legs. And there it is, the 12th. And if you didn't know the name, now you do, Cam Leiter again, dominant on the bump for Florida State. And since then, it's been Nick Mikitinak, and he's done a good job holding down this Florida lineup, and Florida State. Jaime Ferrer able to reach. Before the season's over, and that's saying a lot on a team. That one didn't just rips into left field. Ferrer wheeling into third, the throw comes in, and he got it. Jack Morinak in left, firing down the third. Ripped in the right, right into the mitt of Carter. Then just hustle in the third. He'll get there. And in steps Drew Farrell. Slap to left. Moronic able to keep it. They talk about the draft, drew some interest. Was selected in. Carson Dorsey wastes no time. One, two, three. Dorigi in the center, drops, and there's his second. So both hits for the Bulldogs, courtesy of number four. Dorsey gets him swinging and able to get a K. Jackson West draws the walk. Deliver a one-two pitch to Lodis. Right back, gets some swinging, and earns his first strikeout. Ross threw the bat out instead. 
Earns himself a walk. Horsmeyer. Now you got Hatcher. And I mean, now you put this poor kid in a situation where you got the bases juiced. James Tibbs, no doubt about it. That's out of here. I didn't get that out of my mouth quick enough, did I? I mean, you sat there after the first pitch, and I said, you're going to end up making a mistake, and you keep picking and, you know, trying to force it. But man, James Tibbs just unleashed and opened this game wide open for the Seminoles, making this a 7 0 game. home runs last season and the Cape Cod League home run derby champion delivers and he knew it right when he hit it the fans knew it right when he hit it no doubt as you see this right here beautiful easy swing look at the dugout look at everybody's waiting for him to do something nothing too special but get it I may Ferrer will draw a walk and another runner Back to it. Look out. A little glare out there. <laughs> right into the glove of Parks at first. He'll step on the bag and a double play for the Bulldogs. It's late. Lewis able to pull that in to right field. He's looking for two. Tibbs not able to bring it in at first and a stand up double. For freshman Cade Lewis. This one. And Dorsey fires that one past Solomon. Game time tomorrow was officially changed to 12 p.m. We talked about the rain. And... Wow. Good pitch. Ooh, breaking ball in. And you bet. Three strikeouts. Still in the ball game. And a base hit. Drew Perot. Able to get a piece to work. Shot third, turns, can't make the throw. And Drew Perot will trot home the eighth run of the game for Florida State. Smith, big swing. Way up in the air and right. Tracking in is Carter. Two and two to Williams upstairs. Speaking Shows of off that power, Williams dead center. Forget about it. Right on cue, Max Williams says hello, Florida State. I'm here. And right on cue, talking about his power, goes to one of the deepest parts of the field, gets the pitch he wants, and drives it way out of the park. Williams brings Williams home. And no better way to debut for your new school pitch hitting and rocketing one. The number two overall player in the state. Number one shortstop as Fisher as a freshman. Mike Martin, an 11 spot for the Knowles on opening day. Well, I think you're talking about bringing in all these guys and getting pitching opportunities and they're dropping bombs left and right. I mean, this is an impressive showing right here for these guys. I mean, it shows you the depth that FSU has this year. And look at the dugout. Again, first one out, the greedy Tibbs. Starter at Bloomfield High School. Check down, and he got him. Bushes, Asian Spice, yeah. and some spice on that pitch. There's that slider, I'm telling you. Things late. Dish West trying to do his best to frame that up. Pops. Should do it. And forever 11, Mike Martin, that one was for you.